So Adrian, thank you very much for your time today. Perhaps you could just say a word or two about uh, Lithium Australia. Uh, Lithium Australia is a company that's been developing disruptive technology for lithium extraction for some period of time. We're also looking at recycling of battery metals. And talk us a little bit about the, the end markets and what, what's changing there, why this is such an exciting space. Oh, there's an enormous amount of activity in the battery market spurred on by backup for renew, renewables and for motor vehicles. And so what is it about, what, which, which aspect of the processing side are you focused on? What's your, if you like, your differentiator as a company? Well, we're primarily in hard rock, and if you look at what people have been doing with hard rock historically, they do the usual sort of thing, crush, mine, float, produce a concentrate, generally spodumene, and then roast that and leach it with sulfuric acid. Very energy intensive, so it costs a lot to produce lithium carbonate. What we've been doing is developing a hydrometallurgical flow sheet, and that gets all of the metals in solution without the need for roasting, and that gives you access not only to lithium but all of the other metals that are in those particular minerals. So you get very good byproduct credits and you don't have the requirement for a high energy input. And so where are you in terms of the, the pipeline to bring this technology to, to market? Well, if you look at the way you commercialise these things, there are a standard set of processes. You go through laboratory tests first, then you go to pilot tests, demonstration plant, uh, and then, of course, build the, the final production unit. Uh, we've done a lot of pilot testing, so we've done all the bench scale stuff, the, the laboratory testing. Uh, we've done very successful pilot runs at ANSTO, the Australian Nuclear Science and Technology Organisation in Sydney. We've had Australian government, federal and state government grants to do that. And we have an intellectual property agreement with ANSTO, which is the Australian government, of course. So we're working very hard to commercialise that process. Uh, on the back of all that pilot work, we've started uh, the design work for the first demonstration plan. Very good. And so what are the priorities and the focus areas going to be for 2017? We've got further piloting quite clearly uh, and the, the final outcome of the demonstration plan or the design of the demonstration plan is a critical step towards commercialising. And then on top of that, at two o'clock this morning, we launched a, a takeover bid on another company, which is probably our only competitor. Uh, and I believe that it's sensible to put all the technology under one umbrella and in doing so, merging the assets of those two companies will probably give us the largest exploration portfolio of any company on the planet. Well, Adrian, sounds like exciting times ahead. Best of luck with the bids and thanks for your time. Thank you very much.